control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. Facts. We we get to pick who who goes inside of us. So if you're not picking mm -hmm. good men, like I don't feel bad for you if you end up a single mom. But I recently came across a video of a man who handled this situation with a single mother like a pro. Allow me to share his story. He openly stated that he had liked this girl for many years and had been head over heels for her from the age of 14 to 21. She didn't give him the time of day because he doesn't smoke, drink, go out, or have any other hobbies. Do some people still believe that doing drugs is a requirement for having fun? Anyway, he eventually forgot about her and made a wiser decision. He decided to devote his time to his job, which takes up a lot of his time, and once he gets back home, he watches Anna and plays video games. Our protagonist was aware that this girl was now a single mother of two children, so he simply moved on, as you can see, and thankfully, he enjoys his bachelor's lifestyle in Detroit, Michigan. It's cold there in November, and having nowhere to stay is a nightmare. This chick knew our protagonist had a car and lived in an apartment. So when she was about to be thrown out on the street, possibly because she hadn't paid her rent, she asked him if she could stay at his place with the kids. What the hell happened? This selfish girl rejected this man all this time, and now that she's in deep water, she wants him to save her. The man stated that he didn't give a damn about her or her children because it wasn't his problem. He felt bad and asked other users if he was being too harsh. As I always say, don't save anyone from their demon. In today's video, I'll explain why single moms are dangerous and how, despite their appearance of innocence and weakness, they know exactly what they're doing when they contact you. You have your own set of standards and changing them for anyone else, man or woman, just to get a quick response or approval is not a good idea. You're better off working on your projects, building your body, eating well, and even enjoying video games or anim in moderation, as this man does. Of course, he demonstrates what standards truly are. As a man, you have a lot on your plate without inviting someone who could cause a slew of problems. Assume you meet a girl, connect with her, and think she's good marriage dating material. She starts talking about her kids casually, and you freak out because you didn't see that coming. She appeared so young that she didn't give you the impression that she was a mother. At that point, you become nervous because you don't like the idea of raising another man's children, but she's so charming that you want to give her a chance. In that case, my advice is to avoid inviting her into your life. I'm not suggesting you cause a commotion, simply walk away politely. Consider adding someone else's bills to your own. I'm guessing you value your hard-earned money too much to waste it on someone who has made poor decisions or has a difficult past. If you want to help others, simply donate to a charity. Why not choose a woman who has not yet had children? Ideally, a girl with no or low body count. You're dealing with someone who has emotional baggage as well as potential financial problems. And while we're told to be tolerant and open-minded, that's not the same as being stupid. Marrying someone who has a lot of student or consumer debt is risky, and you may be ordered to pay for the mess she's made. Let me translate. She wants another man to pay for her poor educational choices. Surprise, surprise, a degree in gender studies is not very profitable and will not allow you to obtain a high-paying job. And if you are such a strong independent individual and even a boss, you must deal with the consequences of your actions. Maybe I'm exaggerating because not all women think or act like that, but the point is clear regardless of your solidarity, compassion, or circumstances. 80% of single-parent households are led by single mothers, and the United States has the highest rate of children living in single-parent households of any country on the planet. So I went online to look for some confirmation and came across singlemotherguide.com, which published an article with the same information. Fatherlessness is directly related to teen pregnancy and intercourse. Roughly 70% of teen pregnancies occur among women raised in single mother households. Consider that if you meet a single mother, she is likely to have lost her virginity at a young age, making her more susceptible to bad attitudes, shaming, and other bad habits. The truth is that some men are so lustful that they want to hit single mothers and throw them out on the streets, as a result, she loses her ability to bond and develops behavioral disorders. Even though it's unfortunate, that's not your problem. The same is true for girls who grew up without a father figure. She may be attractive, but if she grew up without a father figure, she is likely to be combative, disrespectful, and harmful to you. Again, we are ostensibly living in an era of tolerance, diversity, and openness, but nature has its laws and defying them is extremely dangerous. Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away. So have a good rest of your day and cheers.